excuse those boxes that are in the background, you know, Amazon and whatnot. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to do a get ready with me type of thing. It's like a random Tuesday. I just was in the mood to do it. I slept in my makeup. I went on a date yesterday, came back, and just was like, I'm about to crash out. I was really tired and I had work the next morning, which is this morning. So I always start out by using my Cetaphil Extra Gentle Daily Scrub. This stuff works wonders and it's not too abrasive. So it's like the perfect blend of like the cleanser and also like the little particles in it that I use to clean my makeup off with. And it is almost gone. So I do that. Something's in my eye. And then I go in with my Panoxyl. I live by this. My sister put me on to this about a year and a half ago, and this stuff works wonders. Like it just so amazing for my skin. I can definitely tell a difference in using it if I use it consistently. That is probably the only problem. And it is like really thick, like pasty, so. I use a lot of water whenever I'm trying to get like a really good lather on my face. If you guys can hear that but that is my alarm another sleepless night of me waking up way before my alarm goes off <sighs> let me go turn that off <clears throat> mm, my face is breaking out it's like every time I sleep 
And my makeup, it makes no sense. I have to do better with my skin. Um, I got this acne kit cleaner from Walgreens. What is it? One, two, yeah. And so I used to use this like frequently. You have the first one, the second one, and then the third one. The first was like a clarifying cleanser. It has the benzoyl peroxide, 2.5%. It has that in there. And then the second one, you have your toner. And then lastly, you have your moisturizer cream. But as of recently, I just used my Panoxoil, the toner, and the moisturizer. So I just used step two and three. Um, Panoxoil just does, been, like, it just does wonders for my skin. So that's why I kind of cut out the step one. Don't know if I'm supposed to do that. I just know that's what kind of works for me for the most part. With the toner, I just put it on my face. Kind of rub and tap it in. My problem areas are, I don't know if like this is your T-zone, like from cheek to cheek and then like down the middle. But I have like the worst acne, like right under my eye. And my cheek areas, I really don't mess with my forehead too much because my forehead is like, my forehead is amazing. I just wish all my skin was like the skin on my forehead. I'm just like, ugh. But, get that in there. And then I kind of just let it dry a little bit before I go in with the moisturizer. Go in with step three. So I'm just doing that. So I usually did my skincare routine. Now I'm about to get my munchkin up because this is like one of the parts that takes the longest for me in the morning besides my hair. So let me go wake my youngin up and get him ready for school. Well, summer camp because I still have to work during the summer. So yeah. Okay, so I am showered. Oh, Lord. y'all heard that or not my baby <laughs> oh my god that little boy is so <laughs> being a mom is interesting i'm thinking he needed help he i mean he essentially he was okay but he had hit his toe on the drain getting out of the shower but i'm thinking he's hurt hurt he's like no i'm fine i just hit my toe i'm like okay So as you guys know, I work in home health. Um, I really don't be around people like that, but I still like put effort into my appearance. Just because like you look good, you feel good. And plus I am training today, so that's another reason why I'm just kind of like, let me put some effort into something today. Which I'm just gonna make 
make sure all this is flat. I know my hot call is real janky, like, this is so old. The dam is broken. <laughs> my mom used to use this on my hair when I was a little girl. Like, that's how old this thing is. But it still gets the job done. Turn that off. And I think I'm going to go in with my claw clip because I already straightened my hair yesterday, like I said, for my little excursion. So I'm just going to pull this back into a ponytail and then like yes baby there should there should be on top of your clothes that I put in the bathroom baby if you can't find them just get something um get one of the ones off your bed Okay, cool. So, yes. This is the look for today. Now, I don't really put on makeup for work. Because, like I said, I am at home health. And it's just kind of like... But... I do do my eyebrows like this. I'm going to do that. My pomade had dried out, so I take my eyebrow brush and like dip it in water and then dip it back in the pomade because it's like a little dried out and then I just go under. Yes, baby? My um, swimming shorts if I have underwear. Oh, you're right. Um, yes, take your swimming trunks off then put on some basketball shorts and then when you get to your summer camp you can just change into your swimming trunks okay okay cool yes ooh that was too dark can y'all see that okay Find you some pants out of your clean clothes. Are you sure it's going to be pretty warm today, baby? Well, I want to be warm always. Okay, you can put on some pants then. And make sure to get the apple juice. I'm not going to forget the apple juice, baby. Yes. Okay, they look okay. They look okay. Mm, this one looks a little bit darker. Yes, baby. Yes, I yeah, I remember. That was kind of funny. It was funny. I was scared. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have this fear about just being asleep in the middle of the night and somebody just watching over me. And that came true last night. My son is infamous for coming in my bed in the middle of the night. So I was asleep. I felt somebody watching me. And I woke up or I opened my eyes and I'm just like, there's a little boy standing here. And I screamed because it's like, I was like, what are you doing? Oh my God. He ended up getting in my bed. Yes, babe. What's up? I don't need my clothes to put in. I don't need to put my sort of trunks and my book back in this bed. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, my normal clothes. Yeah. Chop, chop, because we got to go. Yeah, Mm-hmm. 
glowy. Because, because this one is different. It doesn't got two of these. See? It doesn't got two of these bubble things. It only, it only got one. Okay, baby. I'm going to blow it up. Here it goes. I'm not going to blow it up right now, though. Please go ahead and get your socks and shoes on. I'm not gonna blow it up right now. Finish getting ready for your summer camp so we can go. So as most of you know, I work in home health. If you follow me on TikTok, then you know this is my work bag. Infamous work bag. Home health can get a little boring, so of course I have my planner, just plan out vacations, time off, my work schedule, doctor's appointments, things of that nature. And then I have my journal. Express yourself, so cute. I love this journal. Um, that goes in there, and then as far as like my goals, like my list and things, everything goes into this one. Wake up and work hard, like just wake up and do it. Also, for the ones in the comments of my nails, I did get them cut down, and they will remain short forever in my nursing career. And didn't realize how unprofessional it looked until I took a few pictures, like going to work one day. But yes, I have them cut short down. Um, and then I also, yes. Um, what? It's like not that cool. Good. Uh, make sure all the lights are turned off in your room, okay? I don't feel like all my things are in there. Hmm. And then I also have a book to read when I'm able to read, like when my patient is stable and things like that. I really don't try to take no more than about 10 or 15 minutes to keep my eyes off her but she does have a um a vital sign machine that kind of goes off if any of her vital signs are below normal limits and things of that nature so let me turn you guys up i know i have like hell lights on give me a second yeah it's a little bit better so that is really it excuse those boxes that are in the background you know amazon and whatnot but we are on our way out the door. I hope you guys enjoyed. And that will be it.